hello everyone i hope you all are doing great we heartily welcome you all to our youtube channel cat c master if you enjoy what you see hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss an upload well i welcome you all for the part 3 session of how to become a ca modeler or a ca engineer without wasting time let's get started with this so as we have this question from the beginning how to start your career as a fresher the biggest hurdle of each and every mechanical graduates or the freshers the first thing you should know is you know about yourself so what are your capabilities what are you up to what are your fundamentals depending upon that you strategize yourself and set a basic framework for yourself to reach a certain level right now if you'd like to start your career as a ca engineer i request or i suggest people who are freshers or undergraduates start focusing on the ca modeling activities like to learn the ansa tool and the elder hyperworks tool where you can able to deal with the machine creating the contacts connections and few advanced morphings so this is the easiest way to start your career in ca domain so meanwhile what you can do is you can start exploring all the ce analysis tools and the knowledge based on it the gain experience accordingly so once you learn these tools during uh, graduation or after graduation by just referring youtube like us or trainers like us you can just get in touch with us so we can help you to learn these tools and then you can start approaching the service providers like tier 2 companies where you can just start your career as a ca modeler so this particular job domain will help you to get the job so so this is uh, very, uh, the we have the biggest market for this current in the current scenario well so the tools known as i told the ansa and the alter hypermesh are the very important tools which uh, each and every fresher or the uh, graduate should explore i request answer would be preferable for beginners yeah now when it comes to package it varies uh let's say if you start with the third party uh service providers like xpino and some other xyz companies they start with the package with a 3 lp to 6 lp and if you have some more experience they might even offer you more than 6 lpa but on an average salary is 4.5 lpa for ca model but if you are getting into reputed company you can even expect up to 6 7 lpa as well so this is a just a round figure but i cannot guarantee for you people who are freshers who can directly get 7 or 8 lpa so 4.5 i can guarantee if you have the required skills on ansa and hyperwax for sure you might get it that's all depends upon the hr how you gonna crack the interview how you gonna deal with the hrs well that's all about the ca modeler okay the role job role so next comes is the ca engineer or ca analyst the one of the uh, biggest uh, challenging job role for the freshers so now how to get into this the first and foremost thing you can do is after graduation or during graduation you can join the training centers yeah there are multiple training centers and you can you can explore the youtubes like the cat ca master you and you can contact us for the personal trainings yeah we do provide the trainings yeah so with this you can able to gain the knowledge and experience with respect to nvh reliability crash and optimization domains so you should decide which one you would like to pick so i suggest 
durability and optimization are the the best option for the freshers here so same thing so while exploring nvh or durability or optimization you can even consider on durability or nvh likewise you can gain the knowledge on multiple domains so in future you can able to switch your job roles as per your need well same thing so once you feel confident you can start applying for the service providers directly or you can even directly apply for the OEMs but it's quite difficult to get into there but you can try luckily you might get the interviews or you might crack it and then the very important thing is here it's very difficult for you people as a beginner as a fresher to get a job so you need minimum three years or two years experience to get into C analyst position so one of the biggest hurdle for freshers at the moment but we are here to help you all guys so please do contact us so we are ready to train you and that's your responsibility to crack the interviews and get into the respective domains well so the tools required are Alestina, Avacus at the moment but you can even explore Optistruct and Radios the same well the package as a fresher we can sure that you might get the package around 6 LP on an average but it starts with the 5 to 8 LP for the C analyst or C engineer in third party roles like XP and other companies but even in uh, reputed companies like even the service providers like uh, we have Quest Global and uh, we do have multiple but yeah I don't want to name them you might get up to 8 LPA but you can even get around 10 LPA and 12 LPA also I have the examples but on average 6 LPA is what you can expect at the moment well that's all about CNLS role here now the third option which I would like to recommend is say consultant so where I have started my career as a say consultant CAD consultant and then CA and then jumped into MPNCs and the OEMs at the moment yeah so what you can do here is uh, as a fresh graduate you can just apply for the uh, resellers of the software like Ansys, Abacus, Alter and so as well there you can start your career as a technical support engineer pre-sales the post-sales activities you can do <coughs> demonstrations and providing the support for the, uh, <coughs> the service-based companies with respect to tools so here you just need a basic knowledge about the different types of analysis we do using this tool let's say if you are going to explore answers mold flow analysis right and the basic static analysis model analysis nonlinear explicit uh, these are all things you can just explore and accordingly you might need to provide the support or the demonstrations so with this you can gain the experience so this will directly help you to get into CNLS post later in future so likewise I got into yeah and one of the biggest advantages you can just go into the the highest position that is automation for C analyst means you can be a C analyst you can do the automations by using Python scripting so this is the biggest advantage for you people so you can expect the package around 35 45 LPAs or more than 50 LPA as well so that depends experience should be more than 15 or 10 years of experience needed for this but this position I would also highly recommend for the freshers so if you get a chance to get into the resellers you can start your career there but you need to be patient well the package and the tools you already know the answer because these all the resellers are there you can directly contact them the package is starting with the 4 to 6 LPA the on an average I would recommend is 6 LPA but here 5 LPA is fine but yeah 
depends upon the interview you can even expect more so these are the three uh, initial job roles which I recommend for the freshers well now the, the most important question is how do I choose these roles now right well and what are the basic requirement for these roles we just know what are the these tools and uh, what are all the skills that we need to know about the particular role the very important questions so now to get the answer for this well see in the next session so that's all from this session thank you stay tuned bye everyone we heartily thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram for behind the scenes content and the updates. Stay curious, stay awesome and see you again in the next video.